happy morning dear students welcome to science online class in today's class we are going to learn about a very important organ and this organ works like a computer and it controls all the activities of our body can you guess this organ as yes, children it is our brain so in this lesson we'll be learning about the brain and the senses in today's session we'll be revising about brain nerves spinal cord and the sense organs so what are the sense organs present in our body as children eyes ears nose tongue and skin are the sense organs in our body so shall we start up with brain now students most of you would have seen a computer isn't it and do you know our brain also works like a computer because it gets information from the sense organs the sense organs are eyes ears nose tongue and skin so it gets the information from the sense organs and it stores it in our memory so the information is stored in our memory and it even deletes the information which are not important and it can retrieve any information we may need at any time so it can get back okay it can recall any information recall or retrieve any information we need at any time and what is more it also helps us to think it helps us to feel to learn to memorize and to take decisions so a brain controls many actions in our body like learning uh, we are able to sense some objects our thinking memorizing ability judging something speaking moving so every activities of our body is controlled by our brain and children do you know that a brain does not function alone okay it needs an assistant and this assistant is called as spinal cord and the messengers that help the brain they are called as nerves and the brain spinal cord and the nerves they form the nervous system in our body so in our previous sessions we have learned about digestive system excretory system respiratory system and musculoskeletal system and this lesson we'll be learning about our nervous system first let's see about our brain a brain is a delicate organ so what is meant by delicate delicate means very soft okay our brain is very soft organ and it is protected by the bones of the skull so your skull bones are very strong and it protects the delicate brain inside it and the brain is made up of densely packed nerve cells and these nerve cells are called as neurons and our brain has got many parts so about the parts of the brain you will be learning in your higher classes children but you have to remember that the largest and the most important part of the brain is called the cerebrum okay cerebrum is the largest part of the brain so can you look at this picture can you note the red color dots present okay so this largest part of the brain is called as cerebrum so when you look at the picture of the brain you can see that the cerebrum has many folds okay the folds are present in the layer of the brain folds and grooves okay they are called as folds and grooves so the brain controls our thought okay our thinking is controlled by brain our memory power is controlled by the brain our learning ability and our senses are controlled by the brain and it is very interesting that each part of the brain is responsible for some action so look at this picture students picture of the brain you can see that one part of the brain is responsible for thought other part for movement another part for touch and one part the red area is uh, responsible for vision the other one for hearing and speech so each part of the brain is responsible for some action students look into this picture can you notice the brain stem there okay brain stem is also another part of a brain 
and this part of the brain is very very important because this part connects the brain to the spinal cord okay the part of the brain that connects the brain to the spinal cord is called as brain stem and the brain stem controls the involuntary actions of the body so what is involuntary action involuntary actions are actions over which we don't have any control which means we cannot control these actions by our own will or our thinking for example can you control your heartbeat or can you control your breathing no it is because all these actions are controlled by the brain stem and these actions are called as volunt involuntary actions okay next what are voluntary actions then as children what you thinking is right the actions like writing running speaking dancing moving from one place to another which all which we can control they are called as voluntary actions so in simple words actions over which we don't have any control we cannot control they are called as involuntary actions which we can control they are called as voluntary actions next children we are going to revise about nerves okay what are nerves nerves are often compared to wires because wires carry the electrical signals electrical impulses and signals and it transferred from one place to another similarly the nerves carry our nerve messages or impulses or we call it as signals okay so nerves carry some messages from one place to another from one part of a body to another so that's why we call we compare nerves to wires and nerves are formed by very small cells called as nerve cells and these nerve cells are called as neurons and the nerve run throughout the body so in every part of the body we have nerves and they carry messages from and to the brain there are how many type of nerves in our body as yes, there are two type of nerves first one is sensory nerves and second one is called motor nerves so what are sensory nerves the ones that carry messages to the brain or spinal cord are called as sensory nerves okay they carry some messages to the brain or spinal cord and once they carry message from the brain they are called as motor nerves so in this session we have learned about brain nerves next we are going to revise about spinal cord so spinal cord is a bunch of nerves running through the spine okay spine is a bone the backbone is also called as spine so which we have already discussed in our previous class so spinal cord is a bunch okay it is a bunch of nerves running through the spine and what is spinal cord called as spinal cord is called as the assistant to the brain and only some nerves are connected directly to the brain and the rest of the nerves are connected to the spinal cord that means messages from different part of our body it will first reach the spinal cord and the spinal cord will send the messages to the brain similarly messages from the brain will come to spinal cord then it is sent to different part of the body and sometimes spinal cord is also called as mini brain so why do we call this spinal cord as mini brain because sometimes we need to act very fast for example when we touch something very hot what we do we immediately take off our hand from that object because in that situation involving the brain would waste too much time so that is why a body finds a shortcut so some quick response is given which is controlled by the spinal cord and this action is called as reflex action so what happen when if i prick you with a needle what you do you suddenly withdraw your hand so this quick action you are withdrawing your hand from the object isn't it children this action is controlled by the spinal cord and not your brain 
So in this diagram you could see how the sensory nerves okay in your hand can you see when we prick your hand with your with a needle what happen we give a pain we give a pain so the pain sensor is felt and the sensory nerves carries the information to the spinal cord and what happen is the motor nerves act fast and motor nerve convey this message to the muscles in your hand which pulls your hand away from the object all the, these happen in a fraction of seconds and this quick action is controlled by your spinal cord and it is called as reflex action students next we are going to learn about your sense organs so how does the sense organ helps us the sense organs collect the information from our surroundings and it send it to the brain for example our eye it collects the information from our surrounding it sees what are the things objects around us and what who are all standing in front of us so it collects and gathers lot of information from the surrounding from the environment and it send it to the brain and that is why our sense organs are called as news gatherers because it gathers lot of information from our surroundings and since we had lot of sessions on the sense organs now we'll quickly revise the different parts of the organs like eyes ears and tongue first let's see about eyes eyes are shape like a ball okay eyes the shape of the eye is like a ball and high is eye is present inside a socket socket means it is a hole or a hollow in the skull so when you touch your eyes you could feel that eye is present inside a socket in the skull students look carefully at this picture you can see a dark spot in the center of the colored area can you see it and this dark spot is called the pupil and light enters the eye through the pupil and behind the dark spot is the lens okay so this lens is like the camera lens and the but this lens is made up of tissue whereas the camera lens is made up of glass and this lens will help us to form the a uh, picture the image on the screen which is present at the back of our eye so we have seen about pupil and lens so what is pupil pupil is the dark spot which is present in the center of your eye and behind the pupil is your lens lens helps in forming the picture of what we see on the screen which is present at the back of the eye and the screen is called as retina we also have nerves which carry the messages from our eyes to the brain so each eye has a special sensory nerve and this nerve carries the information about the picture which is formed on the retina that is the screen to the brain so you can compare this to the cable wires which carry information to the television next we are going to revise about our ears and ears is a very important sense organ which help us in hearing so you would have noticed the whole of the ear but there are many parts which are present inside this hole so now we are going to explore what are the parts which are present inside our ear and this part of the ear is called as inner ear the whole of the ear leads to a tunnel inside the ear so from the outer opening there is a tunnel which goes inside the ear children look at this picture carefully so have you noticed the tunnel the outer opening leads to a tunnel and at the end of the tunnel is a flap of skin called as eardrum so at the end of the tunnel is the eardrum and every time when there is a sound near us the eardrum will start vibrating and on the other side of the eardrums are some tiny bones and a coil tube which is filled with a fluid and all these bones and the coil tube will also start vibrating once the eardrum vibrates and finally the sensory nerve at the end of the coil tube will carry these vibration from the ear to the brain and 
the cerebrum makes the sense of the vibrations and tell us what we are hearing last we are going to learn about the nose tongue and the skin special nerve cell inside the nose help us to smell so there are some special nerve cells which are present inside our nose which help us to smell and these cells are called as receptors so where are the receptors present in our nose yes they are present in the roof of the nose so what they do is they pick up the smell from the air that enters the nose and they send this messages to the brain and the brain will help us to identify the different smells next we are going to revise about the tongue a tongue is very important for us isn't it children because it helps us to taste and do you know different areas of the tongue are sensitive to different taste as you can see in this picture each part of a tongue is sensitive to a particular taste next let's see about skin the skin also has receptors for touch for pain and for temperature and so on so when someone touch you 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 are able to feel it you feel the pain when somebody pinches or prick you so skin has a greater number of receptors and some of the parts of the skin are very sensitive example the fingertips and your lips and the sensory nerve carry messages from the receptors in the skin to the brain students in this session we have revised about brain nerves spinal cord and your sense organs so your assignment for today's session will be learn and copy lesson four notes neatly in your classwork notebook read the lesson and complete the book exercise in pencil so the answers will be sent sent to you in the evening for checking so kindly write in pencil and evening you can counter check with the answers thank you children have a nice day